please. Thank you. Pregnancy notes before, during, and after by Rujuta Devekar, ladies and gentlemen. A louder applause, please. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. That's more like it. Please request all of you to take your seats now. Mics, mics. Please, all your mobile phones should be on silent mode. And I would request all of you to please take your uh, seats. Rujita may announce it about what to eat before pregnancy, during pregnancy, post it, what to eat for like vitamin D and iron levels and uh, stuff. So we've already done a little bit of a Q&A, but now you need to tell us what do you think is the most important message in the book? I think the most important message in the book is the fact that Rujuta has even written a pregnancy book. I think everybody writes diet books, exercise books, yoga books. Um, of course, Rujuta has also done, I think, one of the biggest books to have come out of India, How Don't Lose Your Mind, Lose Your Weight. I think this is a one of a kind because, I mean, for every woman, I think everybody's a little nervous, anxious, scared the first time you become a mother, the first time you get pregnant. So an informative book which guides you through, I think, the journey which is so very special. Um, which you get a lot of jitters, nervousness, sometimes you overeat, undereat. There's so many things taking place during pregnancy. So I think this is literally going to be a pregnancy Bible for a lot of women. And I'm so happy that uh, we've done this together and I'm here today to launch this book that's finally out. It's an exciting moment and I'm sure this one's going to be even bigger than Don't Lose Your Mind, Lose Your Weight. Well, thank you for that. But, you know, we've been together since Don't Lose Your Mind, yeah. Lose Your Weight. And uh, I think like all the trends that you have propelled, uh, Don't Lose Your Mind, Lose Your Weight also propelled another trend of, um, you know, actors endorsing diet books. Don't you think so? Yes, I, I mean, of course. I think that definitely, I think that was the first time that I think you know, yeah, course, we yeah. actually so openly had written about the diet fads and what kind of right eating was about. I think in India, everyone was very averse to uh, eating right. Everybody thought they were eating right, but nobody was really implementing that. And the fact that when Rujuta really came out uh, and openly spoke about, you know, how women actually, and not just women actually, I think even men, they lose their mind more than they lose inches on their waist. Because people in the gym ke mare ja rahe, mare ja rahe, char ghante mare ja rahe, ki kya ho rahe, but nobody is really losing weight. So I think the idea being is that, you know, you have somebody to guide you and uh, I think yes, ever since then there have been gazillions and thousands of books after that. Yeah, so in a way you actually made the, uh, the book industry get, got them rolling. Huh? Yeah, there was I mean, no such thing as a diet section, Billy. Now there's a health section. There have been a lot of firsts. 
<laughs> no? And especially with me, including the paparazzi and the media, if I would like to take credit. The whole gym <laughs> session, the whole gym look. What did you say? The whole Reebok, Adidas, Nike is empty. Everyone is at my house. Every day they are pressured to wear something new, to wear something new, to wear something new, to wear something new in the gym. Mein. So everything is a first. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So it's fine. But it's okay. I love it and I love, I love my photographers. And please follow me and please kick me. I don't yeah. care. And as much as you want. As much as you want. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, um, what do you think was the one food that really helped you sail through your pregnancy and post it especially? Because when you lost weight post-pregnancy, you know, it was almost like uh, Tushin because everyone's like, oh God, what is she doing? You know, why is she losing so much weight? No, I think that in fact it's a very gradual process because it's, yes, it has been six months, but like I said, that in, it's going to be this whole one year. You know, we're going to do it the right way. We're going to eat the right kind of food. Uh, just so everybody knows, of course, I had today, it was, uh, I mean, I had lots of ghee. You know, I mean, I told him that even in my dal, there should be a little bit of it. Uh, that I enjoyed the taste and I think that also it's, I mean, it's literally helping me, keeping my skin, my hair, everything is like feeling great. And the most important, I'm also very happy. So I think a happy mother is the best mother in the world. Yes, I think, um, you know, some loud applause and, uh, you know, I mean, because being a mother, of course, carrying the child for nine months, then giving birth looking after the child after that. I think there's a lot that comes into it, a lot that comes into play, uh, you know, mentally, physically, hormonally, so many things are taking place, you know, which I think even women sometimes don't even know what they're going through. Uh, so I think the most important thing is that to figure out an eating plan, eat right, eat every two hours, eat the right kind of food. In fact, in the book, what is most important is that you've given tips on each trimester, yes. which is... I think brilliant because so many different things are actually taking place in each trimester, you know. The last trimester being for the brain development which is actually so important. So what exactly will help for that? I think all that information is out there. And another very important message that we send, with that we want to send out there is that too many women obsess only about what to eat once they're pregnant or after they have delivered because, you know, they would just like to quickly lose that weight. But what is of paramount importance is that what is it that you were eating much before you got your pregnant, uh, much before you got pregnant because your pregnancy and how quickly you get back in shape post-delivery is very much dependent on what kind of health status yeah, you your, have your fitness levels basically how, um, you know, uh, of course, you know, being eating right, exercise, it's been a combination of that even pre-pregnancy. Yeah. Uh, of course, Rujita being one of the first ones that I called when I actually made up my mind that I wanted to have, um, you a know, a baby. child. Yeah. I actually called her up and I said, listen, this is what I'm planning. Obviously, don't tell anyone, but let's work towards it because I really want to be fit. And, uh, you know, if I'm fit before that, I think that it's, you know, I'm going to smooth... Uh, you know, sail through. And, uh, you know, of course, with the support of, you know, so many people, everyone, my friends, family, Rujuta, everybody, I think it's been a well-documented pregnancy and a pregnancy that I think has just, you know, flown by. So it's actually made me feel that, wow, okay, I can. Maybe I should I do it again? <laughs> Yeah, so I think, uh, you know, like the way that it was this whole size zero thing and it really inspired a whole lot of people. It actually changed the way people were dieting. People are now looking at Indian food to lose their weight. Similarly, I think post your pregnancy, no one's going to be feel scared of getting pregnant because, you know, yeah, yeah. because you've kept up with your work and you've kept yeah, up with your glam quotient all throughout. Well, I mean, I don't know about that. I think that I've always just done, like, you know me, it's always about what, um, just following my heart. And basically, I think just being uh, clean, happy, positive thoughts, that also is, I think, the most important thing, you know, when you're carrying your child, even post-delivery, uh, so many thoughts come to your mind. But actually, uh, food is also related a lot to the brain and the way you think, you know. So the key and the crux is that, you know, if you keep your gut clean, automatically, you know, your brain, everything, everything is just cleansed completely. And that's what I've always done for the last 10 years since we've been together. Absolutely, 
uh, but do you think that it's um, because this is the common perception that people have that you know it's easier for stars to come out there and say be positive and eat clean and it's not so for us uh, common people what would you want to say to that in fact i think it's uh, it's easier for the common people to kind of eat clean because there's nothing really that we're doing that's out of the box correct i think we're actually eating what's completely normal and what's made at home it's basic home food i mean you know even that's why i hate going out you know i don't like going to parties or restaurants because i think the idea is that i rather enjoy like a nice movie on television and eat a home cooked meal so i mean how hard is that you know i mean like a basic dal rice if that can help you lose weight you know why bother about all the expensive goji berries and the you know cranberries and the so on so forth i think that's it's not that important staying rooted is important absolutely being true to your culture is important yes <laughs> um do you think that it almost needs a special kind of confidence to be eating out of our kitchens given the kind of propaganda that we have every single day about ye khao wo khao har ek imported cheese khao to knock the weight off yeah i think that most of the thing is that you know we just kind of read items blindly we kind of believe whatever information is you know out there if somebody's written a blog if somebody said this that now so and so is doing this diet or so and so is doing that i think then we obviously turn away from our own home cooked food our own kitchens and kind of try and you know go to the expensive stores and say that okay this it has to be good because you know it's like 5000 rupees yeah. <laughs> and it's a miracle drug or it's like you know it's going to work cuz everyone's eating it in the west uh, but i think that indians in our dna is completely different at least i can say it from me that i'm a true blue punjabi and my my dna is completely different so i need to have indian food i need to have you know the basic home cooked meal you know even to keep me healthy and happy and uh, would you like to have a message for all the husbands about learning to cook yeah well of course <laughs> but now you know i mean that goes without saying that my husband is he's i mean playing the role of a chef but he also is not many people know is also a very good chef and uh, but do i mean like he gets very scared if i tell him like cook a dal and a, you know like something like a ghar ka sabzi he panics he does the pasta really well but ha huh, yeah he is a little anglicized yeah. so he's allowed to <laughs> true and what role do you think exercise plays uh, you know in pregnancy and post it and staying happy and staying fit no i think being active in pregnancy is the most important thing and that's what i did i mean just you know being out and about you know doing going but your day to day normal chores as normal as it can be you know i mean like but of course the indian mentality i'm sure is a little bit like you know ke are ghar pe baitho khana tray pe aa raha hai ghar pe all the women are with their feet up their feet are swollen you know they kind of have that thing that are i can't do this i can't do that but you know i think things are changing now you know i mean there's so many people who are seven eight months pregnant and you can see them they're on the go they're on the move and they are inspirational so i think that the idea was even for me i was like i want to just be out i want to just do everything that's normal and you know just keep my you know positivity keep my brain cool keep you know keep calm you know that's the most important yeah and what would you like to say about you know going to bed on time and de-stressing because that's something that you've really started doing now yeah of course i mean like i think that has also changed now because of temur because um i like sleeping early and i like waking up early cuz he sleeps early and of course he's up at 7 a.m. so the idea is that i think that's helped me you know get into this routine that's helped me uh, be fitter is getting my 8 9 hours of sleep at the right time you know not sleeping at 2 in the morning and you know 3 in the morning i'm um, it's lights out at 10:30 of course on weekends it's exceptional today being a saturday night <laughs> <laughs> so do you also think that uh, you know happier mothers fitter mothers active mothers contribute to the health of a baby i mean i think the baby automatically your child will feel what you're feeling somehow you know mothers and uh, you know their child that there's an instant bond there's an instant connection so you need to be happy you need to feel it from inside you know when you're holding your child so i think that is most important and trust me that comes with you know a balanced meal of eating you know the right kind of stuff um did you have any kind of 
routine pregnancy problems i mean yeah i mean pregnancy problems i mean of course even i had morning sickness and you know like what everybody uh, what most normal women are going through but i think yeah of course we kind of kept it at bay with lots of sugar lots of kala namak like rujuta has an answer like that's for everything and the most simplest remedies so i think the crowd should actually ask you also <laughs> no i think uh, you know instead of just chatting with each other maybe we could take a few questions uh, from the crowd right now so yes. uh, you know now that the lady herself is here if you have any questions you can ask them but keep them related to the book and uh, you know health fitness pregnancy all of that mm-hmm. and also before you ask a question please identify yourself yeah so put your hand up yeah is that what you want them to do yeah hi karina hi do you need a mic from maharashtra times hi punam singh from maharashtra times hi uh you look healthy thank you yeah uh we talk about a physical health apne physical health mein abhi bahut baat ki uh, tell me about a mental health mental health apne in duration mein is duration mein kaise maintain kiya ki kuch dekhte the padhte the nahi of course i think that uh, throughout pregnancy ki puri jo journey thi i think usme i think i automatically had such a positive pregnancy jo mere man ko aur dimag ko i think uh, i really kept myself with family friends people that i love people who care for me i think all that has also kept me going and jaise maine kaha ki um, automatically if you're eating right i think mental health is also related very strongly to that okay yes. yeah you could pass the mic yeah. hi karina My name is Taiba. I'm from Republic TV. Um, you're always known to be the person who's, you know, started the trend of size zero. So after your delivery, what was the pressure on you to, you know, come back to your size and dealing with media showing, oh my God, she's gained all the weight. So how difficult was you, and how did you handle the pressure? But I think because it's the most normal thing that a woman goes through is childbirth, mm-hmm. and um, I mean, I think that every woman puts on, you know, a few kilos. That is. very important you know i mean it does happen it happens naturally and uh, i think the idea there was i never felt any pressure the idea of me going to work out or going to the gym or kind of eating right was always from the fact that i wanted to just feel good i want to feel good about myself i want to feel happy i want to feel right so if i'm going to the gym it's it's not about getting to size zero honestly you know i mean so many people and so many girls are like oh why does she have to leave her baby and go to the gym i mean i genuinely read these comments and i'm like i think that's the most stupid thing ever because i mean having a child doesn't mean that you know you can't feel good and you don't have the fact that you can go to the gym for an hour if your mental health is is right you know and you know the the kind of brain even brains have hormones if they are feeling right automatically you know your day goes well the mood is happy everybody is happy you know so it's not about there's absolutely no pressure honestly i'm 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 one of the most relaxed chilled out pressureless girls i don't listen i don't i do what i think is right i think that is what is the most special thing about uh, her and i would also like to add that the whole uh, size zero term was also something that we first heard from the media and that is one of the big reasons why don't lose your mind lose your weight was a success thanks to everyone within the media so at any point that you feel like you should come and ask me for a royalty hmm? from the all the books that we have sold <laughs> that's a good chance <laughs> yeah so um after listening to you uh, i remember the movie <laughs> which movie jab we met and mai meri favorite who that's what the pregnancy or the woman should think right of i think course. that will get her out quickly i think that line is iconic because it just symbolizes what every woman should feel that's yeah. mai apni favorite who and i am my favorite good. and Keep i will always up. be my favorite that's a good message and that's why you. i will be a happy person and that's the most important and i will always be fit and healthy of course the men can also say that <laughs> okay <laughs> I we are all Thank saying you. that even as women <laughs> anyone from the members of the media uh manche ke nahi so aaj ko book de i think yeah i think the first thing we're going to do is gift soha this book that is uh, i think going to really really help her and also i think wo khud hi itni fit hai 
खुद ही वो आई थिंक शी इज कैरिंग हर प्रेगनेंसी सो सो ब्यूटिफुली ऑल्सो आई थिंक शी इज लुकिंग वेरी 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 क्यूट इसमें डायट लिखा है प्रेगनेंसी का डायट लिखा है बट आप फॉलो कर सकते हो ये ग्लो आ जाएगा आप पे भी आ जाएगा Hi Karina this is Mini from India today um so how has this new blessing in your life uh, changed your choice of choosing projects i mean we all love Taimur wherever he goes he's being packed wherever he goes so how do you manage to leave him and how do you manage to balance your personal and professional life now no i think i've always had like a personal life and a professional life but of course now it is you know it is more difficult but i'm going to try and uh, strike a balance and uh, you know i mean we're starting the shoot of the movie so he will come with me but he also you know the father has to take a little bit of responsibility that's where ki and ka come in <laughs> okay anyone from the media who would like to ask a question uh, karina i'm okay. coming to you um uh, karina bahut sare jo stars hote hain वो नहीं चाहते कि उनके न्यू बॉर्न बेबीज जो हैं बहुत जल्दी मीडिया के सामने आए बट तैमूर को देखकर और आपको देखकर ऐसा नहीं लगता भी लगता है कि आप लोग बहुत यू पीपल आर वेरी ओके विद दैट सो इज इट इज देर एनी स्पेशल रीजन फॉर दैट आई थिंक दैट यू नो आई मीन अभी कल्चर बहुत बदल गया आई थिंक जहाँ जाओ एवरीबडी इज यू नो क्वाइट ओपन एवरीबडी इज केयरिंग फोटोग्राफ्ट एवरीबडी इज यू नो यू गो आउट ऑल्सो और टू द जिम एनी वे यू केयरिंग फोटोग्राफ्ट एंड ही इज एज नॉर्मल तैमूर is as normal as anybody else so why should he be treated that he is not normal he is parents are normal i mean the his friends will be normal so we want to he and it's fine it's absolutely okay it's his journey it's his life thank you and apart from that i think he is probably the most amazing and cutest child ever so it's fine yeah, <laughs> thank you and we just have one last question hi Let's take okay you've already had your chance sir please can i take one question from the audience please karina hi towards your left yeah, yeah. priyanka can you know uh, what are the tips that you're giving sara right now that she's making her debut in bollywood but uh, you're all asking me that i'm supposed to give tips to everybody in my yeah. family but <laughs> why i'm not a teacher <laughs> i'm also busy in my life so what are the kind of interactions that you you both are having right now i think that you know i'm sure she's going to be supremely talented because her, she has it in her genes and i mean she's looking amazing she's looking gorgeous and i truly believe that uh, with her beauty and her talent i mean she's going to rock the industry for sure thank you thank you, thank you so much can no no thank you we're running sh sh running short on time yeah yeah media <laughs> all right i just have one Close last the, thing to add yeah. about the book that the book also has a lot of crowd sourced recipes for the very first time so you will actually have recipes from women across india who have written about you know what are the special foods for every trimester so that that's in the book important. yeah punam moderate book na